Need to create an eye-catching headshot portrait? Look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Luminar Neo's powerful AI tools and texture layers to create stunning headshots that will make you stand out from the crowd. See how easy it is to get professional looking results with minimal effort. Okay, here's the photo. Uh, we'll start by cropping so i will select the regional ratio maybe. let me see there mm -hmm. not that bad let me just move a little bit lower here i wish to have the eye here let me see if i can put the eye just in that crossing now i want i like this one better see there there is okay let me see this is an art cropping is an art yeah, I like on this better. Okay, now let me see some cleanup in here. Mm, I think the this skin portrait um, AI can take care of it, but since I will use the erase tool to erase some of this, select her strays like this one here. Erase. And this one here, around that. Okay. This one here. Erase. Okay, so that's my first round of erasing. I will oh, maybe I will add this. Okay, so that's that's my first round. I will close the erase tool. So I want to yeah, I want to load a new one. That's my second group. And I will get rid of this, this, as I said. Uh, the skin tool can easily remove those, but by not erasing it or erasing them in advance. Mm, I will close this one, open a new one, reduce the size, and I will take care of this one. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, now... I will close this one. You know what? I don't remember if I did the profiling. Let me go here. Yes, I didn't do it. So I will go to portrait, camera portrait. I do this at the beginning. I think the white balance is okay. So yeah, so I can always go back to the edits and correct. Uh, I mean the profile here, the camera profile. All right, I'm looking good. Now, mm, let me go straight to the skin. Okay, wait, the artificial intelligence to load. Around there, and then the amount. Let me go around 90 to see what happens. 90, 91. Mm-hmm, good. And shine removal. It's not that much, and skin defects. Now looking pretty. Look, from here, from here to here, from here to here. Very subtle, okay? And nice. The skin is so natural. So something in her eyes. What is this? Let me see. Oh, that's the reflection of the foot. <laughs> you see the room and everything is reflected in there. Mm. Maybe what I will do in here is... Go to face. 
and I will add some color. Let me try brown. Mm, too much, maybe less. Just to disguise, you know, that uh, you see that reflection of the photographer in there. I'm, I'm not actually the photographer, the room itself. I think that is okay around there. Okay, let me see. Brown eyes. Yeah, good. Now um, the dark circle removals, even though there's not that much. Eyebrows. Yes, I want to dark them a little bit. Okay, now with the mouth, saturation of the lips, we'll go there. Red. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, now it's time for some Dutch and Burning. Let's do this highlights and, and some other areas of her hair. So I will do a Dutch and Burn tool. As always, I will go to 50, lighten the sizes. There is a small strength around nine. Okay, softness is okay. And I will start painting over the hair first. This highlights. Okay, so I will keep doing it. If you want to fast forward the video, this is the time because even though I will try to do it fast, it takes time. So I will keep on moving. But if you want to click on the timestamp just to fast forward, go ahead and do it right now. Okay. All right. I think I'm okay with the light and the highlights. Let's see. Okay. Good. And now we'll, we'll do another module. We'll get to 50. Now this one's going to be darkened. Strength around. Nine again, the size, I will reduce it. And I will do the same with the shadows or dark areas. So I will keep doing it. I will not fast forward because I want to capture the entire process. But as I said, you can click on the timestamps in the description of the video or next to i think if you are on youtube next to the volume there is a, a chapter section that you can click so you can do that now
Okay, so... I will do one more dodge and burn. This time will be light and again the size. So I have to have it, I have to have it to do it under T here. Oh, it's here 250. Better T area chick bones like that over here and over here. Just general practice for me, okay? Yeah, okay, nice. Mm, so, from here, which is not bad, but this one is better. Now, I will do my classical horizontal vertical vignettes. I as I always do, I go to um, the exposure, I reduce it like around maybe in this case, stop and a half. I go to masking, uh, linear grad gradient, and then I'll draw one here. Like that. You see the adjustment? Not too much, a little bit less. Just to frame her a little bit. Click on masking again, linear gradient is already selected. And then here just to emphasize the focus and the face yes let me see yes. and then <clears throat> I'm done with that now this this retouching is fine so far you can use this for any type of advertising if you want to add more interesting stuff I will use um, some layers some overlays for example I will click on this one here, the text three. And as I always do, I will increase the opacity to 100 and then play with the blending modes. In this case, multiply with darken this uh, screen with lightening up. Overlay will kind of saturate the colors. And some flight is something in the middle, in between both. So in this case, I will use multiply I like the effect, maybe lower the opacity around 60%. Yes. Now, that is a texture over the face. I'm, I'm okay with it, but if you don't want that to be skin, you can always uh, re erase it. I would not recommend to erase it uh, totally. Just mm, do it in steps till it's not that noticeable because then you will have like the entire image with uh, I mean the rest of the image with a texture and the face is totally out, out of the texture that will look uh, weird so to do that we go to layer properties first and increase the size of this just to cover the entire yeah and then I will go to, again to layer properties and click on masking select the brush you want to erase Start with a strength around 30, the size from that, and then do a first pass, okay? Over skin and face, right? And check, okay? If you want to remove more, a second pass now, all right? You no need to increase the pressure or the strength because every pass will be kind of doubling what you did in the before like that okay all right you see i erased it too much in here so i would switch to paint and i want to paint back the effect in there okay if so you want to bring it back it's fine i will reduce the strength maybe out 11 and i bring back some because i like the texture of her face okay now if you want to change the color, I mean the tone of this uh, texture, you can go to select the texture layer and go to the develop mode and play with the colors in here. Um, you can add some magenta, warmth, I think that is better. You can saturate it, desaturate it. You play with that. I like warm tones, so I will leave it like that. So there you have it, guys. This is a quick edit with a couple of sliders movement and some uh, creativity from uh, using Luminar Neo. We transformed this photograph from this uh, setting to 
this so again guys uh, i will leave the download uh, link for this photo for you to practice as well as the texture i'm using in this one and also in the description of the video i will leave a link to the latest luminar neo offer so they they are constantly adding and changing so i will have the updated uh, offers and um and uh, information of luminar neo in my website so you can go ahead and check it out if you want to i will get a commission if you decide to purchase any of the extensions or the program or any of the annual subscriptions they are offering right now i think it's really cool and useful and again guys please if you like this type of content consider subscribing to the channel like the video hit that uh, bell so you can get um, informed every time i upload new content and then guys until the next straight to the point tutorials god bless you all bye bye